So it is now 2024, it's a new year, it's a fresh start. Really excited to get going this year. I've got my nice new testing slash packing station, which I built in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Really excited to start using this. I've got tons and tons to do today. I got an amazing Facebook Marketplace pickup last night. So I've got to get through all that and try and get some of that listed. And then I've also got tons and tons of stuff to post. So my store has been closed for two weeks. I've accumulated 40 sales, which comes to a total of 963 pounds. Pretty pleased with that considering I haven't been listing anything at all. So I've got my work cut out for me. There's absolutely loads and loads of stuff to pack and post. So I'm gonna get that all picked out and I'll show you what's sold. So I'll try and get through all this as quickly as I can because there's a lot to do. First sale is these two Scale Electrics cars. They both sold for £10 each. The next sale is this DS console with game and charger. That went for £26. Then we've got all these vintage cars here. I won't go through them individually because it will take too long. But all together that comes to £178 plus postage on all of them. Then we got this rock band guitar for the Xbox 360. That one sold for £65. Next up is this bag of vintage Star Wars figures. They sold for 20 Then I sold another Guitar Hero controller for the Xbox 360 without dongle. That one went for £10. Next up is this Wii console with game. That one sold for £36. Then we got this Mega Drive game. That one sold for 10 Next one is this job lot of 1990s Marvel comics. I put that up as an auction and they went for £28. These Lego minifigures went up as an auction as well and they went for 30 Next up is this aftermarket Xbox 360 fan shroud and that one went for 25 I sold this PlayStation 3 console only and that one went for 30 The next one is this vintage Game Boy carry case. That one sold for 15 I sold an N64 game, cartridge only, that one went for 16 This PlayStation 4 console with controller sold for 100 I sold another unofficial Game Boy case, that one sold for £7.50. I sold Grand Theft Auto 2 disc only on the PlayStation 1, that one went for £4. I sold this unofficial PlayStation 2 controller and that one went for £12. I got another original DS console with charger and that one went for 35 then I got this stack of 20 PlayStation 3 games and they sold for 20. These are all games that CEX would give you 1p for. So I've managed to get a pound each for them, so I'm pleased with that. The next one is this Nintendo 3DS docking station. That one sold for four pounds. The next one is this brand new pair of vans in the box. I paid five pounds for them at a car boot sale and they've just sold for 35. I got four Mega Drive sports games here, not in very good condition. They went for five pounds. The next one is a sealed Star Wars Lego set. That sold for 57 pounds. And then the last sale is a Star Wars Chewbacca figure. And that one went for 11 pounds. So I finally get to test out my new testing slash packing area. If you missed my last video, go check it out. I'll show you how I built this whole thing. I've got one of every games console under there. That's all gonna be plugged into these two monitors for testing. I've got my nice wall mounted PC here with my printer and scales. I've got my keyboard and mouse under there, nice and neat. I also built this bubble wrap rack, which fits inside the shelf there. That just comes out this little slot and I can rip that off nice and easy. So now I've got a nice clear work area for all my packing. So let's get all that stuff packed and posted. Right, first time using my bubble wrap dispenser. See how well it works. Nice. Lovely. Nice and quick, nice and easy.
Well, that was a hell of a lot of work. I'm glad that's finally done. I'm gonna go drop all that off now and then I'm gonna look through my Facebook pickups. So, last night I went and bought all this and this is probably up there with one of the best Facebook pickups I've ever had. So originally the ad was just for this boxed Wii with games and that was put up for 30 pounds. So as soon as I saw that, I drove straight over there to go get it. I didn't try and haggle the price down at all because that's already a bargain at 30. But as I always do, when I got there, I asked the lady if she had anything else for sale that she hasn't listed yet. And she was sort of umming and ahhing a little bit. She didn't really know. But then she said, actually, I think I've got some stuff in the loft. So I waited for about 10, 15 minutes. And then she comes down with all this. And as you can imagine, my eyes lit up. Could not believe my luck. But we've got a GameCube with two controllers. A Mega Drive with two controllers. Got five games for the Mega Drive. There's also Luigi's Mansion and Resident Evil for the GameCube. And a Crystal Xbox with about 20 games. So I asked the lady how much she wanted for everything in total. And then she said £100. So obviously I accepted her offer. Again, I didn't try to haggle her down at all because that's obviously a bargain at 100 Now I've just gone through everything and I've worked out a rough value of what I can get for all this. And it comes to £343. But as you probably already know, I am trying to get one of every games console for my testing station. And I don't have a GameCube or a Mega Drive yet. Now these aren't in the best condition to be honest and all the consoles I already have are in near enough mint condition but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these and then when I get better condition ones come in I'll then keep the better one and then sell these ones on and then I'll just keep doing that until I end up with mint ones. I think I'm also going to keep Luigi's Mansion because that is complete and in really good condition and I don't have that game yet. So after keeping that game and the two consoles that then comes to a total value of £195. And then if I deduct the £100 that I paid, that then gives me £95 profit, plus I get the two consoles and the game completely for free. So there's the Mega Drive in its new home. That fits in there really nicely. There's still plenty of room to get the cartridge in and out. And then we've got the GameCube in there. I've put a Wii in there next to that as well. I think there's enough room where I can get a Wii U in there as well. So then I'll have pretty much every Nintendo console on that top row there. So all I need now is a NES, a SNES, an Xbox One and a couple more Sega consoles. And then that is pretty much finished. So I finally had a chance to use my testing station for the first time. I've got to say I absolutely love it. I don't think this could have turned out any better to be honest. I'm so pleased with it. Hopefully this will really speed things up a bit. I've got two consoles plugged in at the same time. So while one game is loading on that one, I can try another game on that one. At the minute, I'm just going through these games here. And whenever I sell games, I like to just remove any pre-owned stickers, any sticker residue or anything like that. And to do that, I just use a bit of alcohol. So this one, it's got a pre-owned sticker there. It's got some sticker residue on it there. So what I've been doing, is starting off with the disc so that is a little bit scratched so that will go in the xbox and while i'm waiting for that to load and see if it works i can then start working on this get the sticker residue and everything off and by the time that's done the game should be done and then i can move on to the next one so all i do is get a bit of alcohol on a cloth like that that just gets any sticker residue off straight away makes the case nice and clean it makes the game look like it's in better condition and it does make a difference when you're selling because then you can describe the games as being in good condition. If they're covered in pre-owned stickers and glue and stuff, it kind of puts people off, I think. One thing I do also do, if the discs are a bit dirty and covered in fingerprints, I use a dusting cloth, put a bit of alcohol on it, and that just gets off all of the fingerprints. And because it's a dusting cloth, it doesn't scratch the disc. So those ones are all done. Still got to get through them. That game there, that's loaded all working. Sonic's all working, so I'm going to reset that now. I can try another game. Give it a quick blow. So it looks like that one's working. Now I know that works, I can take that one out. So that can go back in the case. Then I can move on to the next one. See that is very scratched, so it definitely needs testing. So that one's saying it's not recognised. That's what I was expecting to be honest, it is very scratched. So what I've been doing, any games that I get like that now, 
I'm just gonna save up a pile of them and then I'm sending them off to Jack Dobbins. He's a video game reseller. Uh, he niches and just sells video games. And I've got all these games here, tons and tons of Wii Sports, Mario Kart, all really decent games but they're all very scratched so I can't sell them like that but he's got probably the best disc cleaning machine in the world so what I'm actually doing is saving all those up and I'm going to send these off to him and instead of him giving me money for these he's actually going to repair discs for me for my own collection so what I'm going to do is send him all of these and then he'll tell me what he'll give me for them and then that will give me a certain amount of disc repairs for myself. So I'll send him a load of my own games from my collection. And then basically it's a win-win for me and him because he's getting these without actually paying for them. I basically don't pay for this stuff anyway. It just builds up over time. Uh, and yeah, I get my games clean for free. He gets a load of stuff he can sell. So it's a win-win. Jack has actually just started his own YouTube channel. So make sure you go check him out and go subscribe. Once I've got a nice big pile of them, I'm going to send them all off to Jack. So yeah, this testing station is working an absolute treat. It's a massive improvement over the space I had here before. This does also double up as a gaming room, so whenever I want to play any retro game, I can just come in here and it's all set up and ready. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to crack on now and try and get all this stuff tested before the end of the day. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this. Give the video a like on your way out as well. It helps me out massively. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.